Let's go to the world of our man, Mr. Dave Mazza. Dave is the head of product and a managing director at Direction. And as you come over to our website at TFNN, all you have to do is hit that Direction button, get over there, and you can see the lineup of ETFs, leveraged and single um, equities that you can trade each and every day. Dave Mazda, what's going on? Hey, happy to be back. What's happening? It's great seeing you, man. And you know what I'd like to talk about today? So this is pretty, you know, it seems that the leveraged business in general in the ETF um, is accelerating quite a bit, Dave. Um, and so what I'd love you to do is talk a little bit about, and I talk a lot about this, but this is what has happened in the past two weeks, which is pretty wild. You know, folks, what has happened is that you got, you got plenty of folks like me that have been in the market a long time. But we have a whole new crew that's coming up. And what's happened, Dave, this is really intriguing, man. You know the last oil run, right? Well, it seems like a lot of, you know, a lot, our listeners, okay, they, they really did well with the gush, right? Now, what happened, which is really intriguing, though, is that I've been getting some calls. And, you know, like anything else, when you start something new, and you make a lot of money, <laughs> and then it, it was one of those deals that a couple of calls really didn't understand that we reset every day. That's the bottom line. And I really realized this is okay. This is uh, you know this is almost like when we first started. You know what I'm saying? That everyone gets acclimated to it, but there's so many new traders because these these traders that were actually calling are only like 24, 25 years old. Um, so I was explaining to him, but can we go through that a little? Because I think this, I, I, I know it because I'm getting, I got it. When I get three or four calls in 10 days like that, do you know what I'm saying? It's like, okay, you did really well, no doubt. Do you know what I mean? But, you know, we got to, they got to understand that each one of these doubles and triples reset every day. And what, because what happened is that one of them calls, it, oh, this is a no brainer. You're just going to buy this because it's going to go high. I said, no, no, if you get a sideways market, the bottom line, you really want to understand how these work. So can you just go through that a little for them? Yeah, you're absolutely right. So it, I think it's worth taking a step back because we have seen, uh, to your point, a huge increase of new traders entering the space, uh, trading and looking at leveraged inverse ETFs. Right. And I can tell you, the reason for that is in times of market volatility, folks are looking for opportunities and leverage and inverse ETFs can do that for you. However, that opportunity can come with some, I'd say, personal responsibility, and that is to understand how the products work. And um, and I know, as you emphasize, uh, when, when you're getting these call, these call-ins, these are daily, uh, daily vehicles. And what I mean by that is that every day, every uh, we are delevering or relevering the fund to meet that exposure. And so, for example, you know, these cannot be used over the long term. Right. Now, there's always a case someone has held something and, and they were right and kudos to them. But there's also examples of folks who bought the bear fund and not the bull fund and they and they, yeah. they, they lost a significant amount of capital. So yes. was the way I think about this is if you don't have the ability or interest to monitor your position in a leverage in inverse ETF daily, these aren't for you. Now, if you do, you can make that buy, sell, or hold decision daily, right? Maybe you did exactly. buy it, right. and your thesis still works, keep the position. But maybe you bought it and, and that something has changed, or the, better yet, particularly with, with the way folks trade, a lot of folks trade leverage and inverse ETS on the technicals, then you, you might have to sell it, right? So the, the reason this is the, the reason that's the case is because again the the return that that two times or three time return is only on a given day. So if you look, particularly in periods of market volatility, when we are buying and selling, yes. we're never you're never you're getting negative compounding. It's not you know if you look back to a year where you have uh, pretty low volatility in the markets. Interesting enough, a, a two times or three times leverage fund might actually outperform its theoretical return in it because it was just trending. Right. But this market is not a trending market, right? right? So you should you should be you have to make those decisions on a daily basis no. if you're gonna be involved in these products. And I appreciate it because I, I it seemed that the, the few that that what they were talking, they all hit the oil market. So it was one of those deals, you know what I mean? Like hey this is pretty cool, right? It was a it was a one way trip on the way down. 
And now, you know, it's bouncing back and forth. And now I was explaining to them that, OK, you know, but that's not the same, because if you're in a consolidation, you know, you got to remember, just as you said, it resets every day, folks. OK. And there's there's a lot of different things you can do with them. You can trade them just to make money. You can have, you know, like a couple of the calls. They had Exxon, they had Chevron on one. So they just wanted to cover it and get Delta neutral. OK, which is easy. Not. Yeah, it's pretty easy in that sector because ExxonMobil and Chevron folks are like 46% of one of those, you know, in the XLE, basically. So, um, yeah, really cool, man. And, you know, the, the aspect, uh, it, it seems, Dave, that when we have this volatility, too, um, people that have already been used to them, this they're not only staying there. I mean, they're opening up basically... Uh, not a full portfolio, but they're, they're basically, they really understand now if they're trying to protect some of their portfolio to just throw something else on for the day, like a bad day. Do you know what I'm saying? It's like, okay, just put it right. in the morning and take it off in the afternoon, man. Do you know? Correct. Yeah. yeah. And that's a great, great way to think about using these products. Yeah. Well, listen, thank you so much. Appreciate the education. Look forward to speaking to two weeks from today, Dave. Thank you. We'll talk soon. Awesome. Thanks, man. Bye. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back.